this is a tweet, it's from Rupert Murdoch, okay? He put this out earlier tonight, he writes, maybe most Muslims peaceful, but until they recognize and destroy their growing jihadist cancer, they must be held responsible. What do you think of that, Steve? Well, I think it's kind of odd, actually, um, to hold all Muslims responsible for acts that most Muslims despise would be like saying that, um, oh, take the Christian terrorist organization in Uganda, Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army. It's a bunch of crazy fanatics who call themselves Christian fundamentalists. And to look at their acts of terrorism, and they've killed tens of thousands of people, and to tweet that all Christians will be held responsible for their acts of terrorism. Mm -hmm. uh, it really doesn't make much sense to me. Mm -hmm. Roger? I do hold Muslims responsible to this degree. I don't think that we can solve this problem, Don, until moderate Muslims really speak out, really say, this is not our religion, this is not something we can accept, this is absolutely barbaric, this is the murder of innocence, this is an attack on Western democracies and the freedoms we all stand for, and we are now part of these societies, we're living in them. Uh, until they speak out in that way, um, I don't think we're going to see much progress, and I think that's a responsibility they have. You asked a pretty direct question last night to a Muslim human rights lawyer, Mr. Iftika. You asked him if he was a supporter of, of ISIS, and he gave a very vague, wishy-washy mm -hmm. answer. Why can't a moderate Muslim like that just come out and say, these guys are slitting the throats of Western journalists, they're raping and slaughtering in Iraq and Syria, and I personally abhor this and do not support them? No, we got a very vague answer. Yeah. And as long as moderate Muslims are giving vague answers to what we're seeing going on in Paris and elsewhere, I think the situation will only get worse. 